Hello everyone, and welcome to Programming C Sharp 4.0 Lesson 2. Today we're going to be talking about statements, variables, and types. Let's get started. Okay, so again, up in the comment section here, which we created, and if you're not familiar with what a comment is, please review the previous video. Uh, we have our itinerary. So what is a statement? A statement is ultimately uh, one uh, instruction. Um, technically, so and it ends with a, uh, a semicolon. So this is a statement, you know, this is a statement, this is a statement, this is a statement. Um, so that, that's pretty much it. It's, it's just, uh, just one single instruction for uh, C Sharp. So now let's move on to something a little more interesting. What's a variable? Well, if you took algebra in high school, you probably remember that whole X thing, or, you know, it's basically is a container. Well, that's exactly what it is in C-sharp, too. A variable is simply a container um, of some piece of information. Now, C-sharp is actually called a, uh, or it's a strongly typed language, which means every variable has to have a uh, type associated with it, even like objects, or basically any, any piece of information has to be typed, or, ha or you have to tell C-sharp what, uh, what it is. So you'll see um, here we have a whole bunch of different types. There's int and long, float and double, and then the non-numeric types, character and bool. So let's just go through um, an example of each one of these. So we go ahead and we'd say care, my care equals a. A is a character. You know, if we try to put in a number in here, it would break. So you know, as soon as I click off of it, you'll get an error. It cannot be converted to a character. So we go ahead and put a back there, and then we'll remove the error. Now we have this thing called int, or my int, and int is just a positive or negative number with zero. Uh, so now you're probably wondering, why in the world do I have um, this number in here? Well, an integer, let's go ahead and get out the calculator. Okay, so an integer, if you hold your mouse over int, is a 32-bit signed integer. It tells you exactly what it is. So that means 2, let's see, to the 32. Now we'll cut it in half, divided by 2, and then we need to make a place for 0, so minus 1, and you'll get that number. So if we go ahead and put one more number on here, it'll complain and say, it needs to be an unsigned int. Now, ultimately, what's an unsigned int? Um, the reason why we divide it by 2 is because, you know, we have whatever this number is positive, and we also have whatever this number is negative, okay? Uh, then we have that plus here. Technically, we can do, yeah. So, we'll go ahead and make that positive again. Um, and that's ultimately what uh, an integer is, a, a positive and ne uh, negative number with zero that has, that has a limit. Uh, and that's why there's, there's types. So you'll notice under here, um, I have an unsigned uh, long. I was actually fooling with that. That's a uh, double, essentially double a long, which is a longer integer. Um, if we wanted to double this, we could just make it a u int or an unsigned int, but now we can't have our negative. So we can just go like that, and no more complaints. So ultimately, that's um, the numeric types for the integer side of things. Now the float is ultimately um, just any decimal, anything with a decimal point. Um, integers don't have decimal points. Uh, floats and doubles do. That's pretty much for now all you need to know. Um, now we have two other types. Um, a character which we already went over in a boolean. Um, if you remember, uh, boolean uh, from boolean algebra is, or is just true or false. So it's one or zero, true or false. You can't actually do uh, bool. We'll create one here. Bool my bool equal one, and then it'll create uh, an error. So we can type in true, and that should. Uh, It'll just display a warning because it's never used. 
So we can just, if we remember how to comment, we'll comment that out, and now we won't have an error anymore. So that's basically it for, for types uh, for right now. Uh, we have a assignment statement, which we're assigning, you know, a character to this my character um, variable, um, an int, uh, creating an int variable, and assigning this uh, integer to my int. That, that's basically it for, for variables for now. Um, let's actually try to use these variables though. So that way, you know, if you want to in your spare time, you can fool around with them. So if you remember from the previous lesson, we had this console.writeLine thing. Well, um, now what we want to do is go ahead and uh, use console.writeLine and output the uh, variables. So you'll see here, you probably already can realize what's going on. My care equals, and then this, this zero thing, backslash n, which is a new line, which is essentially an enter. Um, my int, and I'll actually remove one of these so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. My long, so zero, my care will go in here, my int will go in here, and my long will go in here. Um, I added a second right line, so you start from zero again, zero and one. So if I hit control F5, we'll probably have a list of stuff except where that new line was removed. So you'll see here, character, my int, so it's just outputting all the values. So let's go ahead and just add that new line back here. Make it a little more readable. Control F5 to run it. And there we go. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. Uh, I encourage you to go ahead and try uh, creating a few of these um, right line methods yourself with some, some variables. And uh, I will see you for uh, the next lesson. Thanks for joining me.